Sister so engine looks like it's got it. Maybe it's the Deutz. Andrew's mass is off to its new home in a bit. He's going to take it on the fast track and the low loader. Somewhere in Wales. It's now day 350. Uh, not many left to go to make it to the year. And we'll see what happens. But got the sprayer out. We've obviously got that crack that I found yesterday on the boom. But I'm hoping I can carry on just to get the tank empty at least. And maybe even get the oilseed rape sprayed. I've also got a bit of barley to spray. Um, there was something messing around with the suspension. But I don't know whether it's because the boom wasn't folding up properly. The weight distribution was wrong because we've obviously got some sort of seal going on that ram in there. The silver bit down there, see. Um, so we're going to see how I get on, get the tank empty. It is still leaning slightly, which isn't ideal, so it probably is the seal definitely gone in that ram. But it'd be better if the tank's empty because we're going to have to jack it up to change that ram anyway. Um, Thanks to everyone that's watching and everyone that's subscribing and everyone that's liking because basically that means if you if you watch it and if you press like then uh, YouTube shows it to more people and the more people YouTube shows it to me then I end up with like a 0 .00 something of a pence but that all adds up and if it keeps adding up then I'll order a new one of them. Now they've cost me about £2,000 a month. Now it's a long way to go for YouTube to buy me a sprayer but I think it could be possible. So thanks everyone for uh, for watching because you're buying my new sprayer, I hope. So let's get some spraying done and see how we get on. I hope you can hear me, but basically that ram is leaking oil internally. And if the engine revs are up, it can just about hold itself level. But when the engine revs drop, it, um, it just starts to weep down slowly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cable tie around this lever to up there to hold the valve open further so it always just just pumps a bit more oil in than it needs to to try and keep me going. If not, I'll have to mess around with this valve and hold it down and bring the machine down level to carry on. Um, bit of a pain really because it seems to have broken while it's not been in a lot of use. Just the feel now. Uh, no fungicide so there's a trial plot in this field here i was just checking whether this is the fungicide one or the herbicide one because i'm basically going to spray herbicide to knock out these things um may weeds and stuff that's the oilseed rape that's what we want but these things we don't put a cable tie around that suspension and um it's just holding itself level now so hopefully i'll be able to carry on but i can't go too hard because obviously got the crack in this here. See it? There, in the middle of the screen now. So, um, don't want it to snap completely, otherwise, it won't be able to fold up. But that cable tie there is just keeping a little bit of pressure on, on the valve. So, the valve's slightly open, it's just keeping the oil just right. The machine now is sitting, sitting level. So, we'll finish folding out. That's 12 meters. We'll fold to 36, and then uh, we'll get this field sprayed perfect day for spraying now it's just so still it's unbelievable oh well um, it seems to be working okay the sprayer is sitting pretty level we'll get this field finished we'll see what that link looks like and then um, see if we need to weld it up to carry on or we just kind of call it a day get the parts tomorrow and then keep going i don't know if anyone remembers but this drain washed sort of like last summer and uh, we didn't get a chance to bring the digger down and have a look and then we didn't want to disturb the oil seed rate but it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger uh, and then there's another one now washed next to it so I don't think you can see because of the size of the sprayer it's a pretty big hole uh, so obviously there's water flowing underneath and, the, and it's just washing the soil and just taking it with it so we do need to dig down to that and sort that out before uh, we lose a tractor or combine down it I hope it is a drain wash because where them houses were used to be a coal mine and it's not a mine shaft opened up. Because that wouldn't be very good, would it? I reckon there's an echo if you shout down it. Echo! No. Lambing update. Uh, some of them now are two weeks old. I think it's uh, the ones in this pen, actually, isn't it? There you go, number one. Twins there. Little one iron in the corner. Number four's over there. <laughs> all looking quite happy. Been quite mild for them, to be fair. Mm. 
the texels if anyone wants to know what they are. <laughs> Top quality hay there. Just up here looking at the sheep and uh, I forgot we've got this welger baler in the shed. If anyone's uh, looking for a welger baler, get in touch. We've not used it for years, so we'll probably sell it. All loaded up now, off to pastures new. With its new brakes, its new paint, its new seat. All strapped on now. Off it goes. If you strapped it on properly, it'll roll off going up the hill now. That's a little bit too close. Camera's up there. Well, I, I can't see that. It don't matter, it's already bent, but it's touching. <laughs> it's only three o'clock and um, Adam's had to come back for diesel already. Right, we've got a 724, the fast track, and some straps. So let's just see which pulls the best. Five, four, three, two, one, go! Nothing in it. Yeah, nothing in it. Fast track, 724, drag race. The fast track has it. Right. Take two, drag race, fast track, fen. The fen, the, the fast track is over a ton heavier. It's got about a worse start though. Looks like it's gonna have to be the best of three. Right, take three. I'm stood further away this time. So we can see what happens. Five, four, three, go. That looks like it's got a better start. This engine looks like it's got it. Maybe it's the Deutz. Fast track definitely had it. That's pretty surprising really, because the fast track weighs 1,200 kilos more than the Fent. The Valter engine is obviously more torquey than the uh, Deutz engine in the Fent. Yeah, technically the, uh, the fast track's 20 horsepower less and 1,200 kilos heavier, but it still pipped the, uh, pipped the uh, fence. Anyway, I'm just in this field of oilseed rape here. It's hard to see it because it's absolutely chewed off. See, it just totally like, stripped there. But they've done the whole field, so it means it doesn't need any fungicide because there's nothing disease in the leaves but it we need to keep off it now so we can grow and then we can get a yield out of it interesting patch here where something's been missed with the spray i don't know whether it was the curb or something else you can see the uh, the weed that's took over in that little triangle there they hello to the rescue rescuing a new holland telly handler that's broken down i'm on the sprayer there's adam there working some brown with the sumo something we didn't get a cover crop on it's quite compacted going to be spring barley. You see all the pigeon dead seagulls nicking the earthworms. We'll uh, have a better look to that tomorrow. Yesterday's quiz question was in fact the uh, MOT certificate for the sprayer, National Proficiency Testing Scheme to check that the sprayer is all calibrated and everything works on it, which we have to do every year for Red Tractor. So the quiz question today is what is Red Tractor and do we need it? That's about all for today. Tomorrow we'll get um 724, another 724, 250R and a fast track of a drag race. See how we get on. Because um, they're all similar horsepower. So it'll be interesting. So thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. And don't forget to click like.